we're going to be talking about the four game-changing platforms in no code in 2021. Number one, Restep. Number two, Palterion. Number three, Canonic. And number four, Softer. We're going to go through all four no code platforms and show you how this is going to be a game changer for your business. Number one, Restep. This allows you to learn by making automatically. It tracks a maker's clicks and keystrokes so they can recreate their project in just a few clicks. It uses a Google Chrome extension. So you first download that from the Google Chrome store. You have all of those things. And then you can use someone else's re-steps and have that project recreated in your account in a few moments. You can get access to the beta if you go to restep.io and they'll let you know when it's launching. But we've seen a couple of previews and we cannot wait to see this and all the makers using this. Now, why is this such a game changer? If you're watching tutorials for hours on end, trying to understand what's going on in Webflow projects, Bubble, all of those things, Restep is going to allow you to have this in just a few moments in your account. So what does that mean for makers? If you're creating certain Resteps, you could then potentially resell them for people to use them in their projects as well. They don't have to watch your tutorials, what you created. Just in a few moments, they can pay you for your resteps, and then it recreates that project in their account. And that's just one way that you could be using Restep. You could be making sure that you have a catalog of all of your best things that you've created in Webflow or other platforms, and now you can use that uh, to teach other people because they can see all the steps and they could go frame by frame seeing all the things that you did. Then they can take their own notes that makes an impact for them and then they can start remixing or changing things based on seeing how you had your progression of creating that project. We can't wait to see all the th great things Sako is creating. Make sure you go to restep.io and, uh, and check them out and get on the beta list. Next, we have Pelterion. This allows you to have the power of AI and machine learning in your no-code platform. If you're looking at how to integrate it, you can use Google Sheets, you can be using Bubble, Power Apps, and the list goes on and on. And this allows you to start using machine learning and AI in your projects. Not only that, they have the faster AI course. I really, really like it. And also there's a link down below when we reviewed Pelterion earlier this year. But the application that you see how makers and creators are using this in the community is just outstanding. In fact, we uh, did a quick shout out from uh, Micah. Micah did a um, project where he actually did COVID testing and all those things based on the modeling found from Pelterion. So he made it all with Bubble and Pelterion. So if you want to know more about him, there's a link down below. Check him out on Twitter. He's doing some great essays about what he's creating. So watch out for him. He's got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Also, the things that I liked about Pelterion, if you're looking at the Knowledge Center and the tutorials, I thought that was pretty interesting. Sometimes I felt like it was too overwhelming for me, but they really made it simple as you're going through a lot of these uh, different scenarios and also i liked their cheat sheet that they provide as well so you um, start being able to understand how this could be applicable for your project on what you're trying to do with no code thought that was pretty cool and their their team is awesome they're really interested in for normal people to utilize this technology so check out pelterion.com and and again before you get overwhelmed what i would say is make sure that you're writing down exactly why you would want to use it and uh, different examples and then do a deep dive because there is so much that is possible with this platform it's important that you have a uh, path of how you're going to be using this in the comment section down below if you've used uh, Peltarion let us know as well next up we have Canonic this allows you to create serverless backends in a matter of minutes and also why we were using it when you're creating the framework you can be having endpoints for your APIs and you can be doing a lot of things with Canonic. They just relaunched like version two on Product Hunt not too long ago and it just keeps getting better and better. One thing I would note is on the front page, having it as a low code interface. I would like to say that because there are more of a learning curve, right? There's still some kind of things that you need to know some. So just keep that in mind. We did a breakdown video earlier this year about Canonic, about how to get started creating databases, all of those things. But but it's also important to note 
how to create your database, uh, about structuring it the right way. So that's a bit of a learning curve, but I think just the pricing and what you can do with Canonic, it's just going to get better and better. And one of our big bets for 2021 and 2022 is people using and utilizing APIs and Canonic is going to be a game changer. There's just a few things to note with their front end. You can be using React and others. So just keep in mind if you're saying, well, does it integrate with Softer or Adalo, all those things coming soon. So talk to the team if you have a suggestion of you wanted to integrate with uh, a certain front end platform, just let them know. The team is really receptive too. So reach out to them on Twitter or email them. The last platform I want to talk about being a game changer is Softer. Now you might say, wait a minute, you talked about the other ones where it's AI and all of these things. Why are you going to go with Softer? The reason I picked Softer for it being a game changer, it's how quickly you can start working on your ideas. Tons of times we get people wanting to create the next TikTok or the next whatever, and that's all well and good, but without seeing what your audience is willing to pay for or what they want, it's sometimes just a waste of time going that route without getting validation from your audience. And softer, a lot of times, allows you to have that key to test out marketplaces, creating uh, client portals, creating all of these very specific styles of MVPs that you can get started very quickly without worrying about what does it look like, building it in Bubble, learning the learning curve of Bubble, all of those things. You can start in a mere minutes using Softer. All you need to do is have a Softer account and Airtable. And even this year, they've really changed the process of getting started with uh, Softer because you would have to go into the documentation, copy the code, put it back in. They've made it even simpler now with Softer. And there's tons of other videos we've talked about, the walkthroughs of using Softer and all those things, but it's a very easy and concise process to get started with Softer. In the comments section down below, let us know which platform you wanna use and why. Are you gonna be going with Canonic? Are you gonna be going with Restep or getting signed up for the beta? And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. We do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.